What's up everybody? My name is Brock Dykeshorn and you're watching Extra Innings. As many of you know, uh, this year I've been playing in Taiwan. I'm in Tainan, Taiwan with the Uni Lions. Um, we've had a great season so far. We've uh, made the playoffs. We're actually in uh, a week off right now between the regular season and the Taiwan Championship. So um, we've had a week off, so I thought I'd uh, take advantage and use this time to make another video for you guys. Uh, really cool episode for you. I joined up with two of my teammates this year, two of my uh, other foreign teammates this year, um, and we tried out some new snacks here in Taiwan. So I thought I'd bring you guys along, uh, take a look at uh, the 7-Eleven here, and as well as some of the snacks and drinks that, uh, that Taiwan has to offer. So stay tuned and we'll get to it. What's up guys? I'm here with my two teammates this year in Tainan, Taiwan. This is Tim Melville and Teddy Stankowitz. So thanks for joining me guys. Yeah, yeah, no problem. So we have seven different foods, snacks to try today, and one of them only Tim is trying. Um, the other six, all three of us will try, and then we have three drinks as well that uh, I think are kind of the popular drinks here in Taiwan. Uh, they're really popular with tea here, so we'll try a few different teas. Um, if you guys got anything else, otherwise we'll get started. No, let's, let's get it. Let's do it. We'll start over here. We've got some seaweed crackers. Um, we eat a lot of seaweed here, so this is going to be the fun part. Here we go. <laughs> is there a rip? We got this one. Oh yeah, there's a rip. There's a rip. We got it. Love that. That's a little easier. Alright. Another bag? It's an oh. interesting smell. Yeah. Very much uh, has the sea aspect of it. We're gonna do one. I'll well, say the this yeah, yeah, we'll smell do like amazing, but kind of like it taste. A little bit of cat food. All right, bottoms up. Here we go. Salty. Right very, off the very bat, salty. Right off the bat, that's salty. I don't. I don't think this is the actual seaweed. I think they probably fry it. Some sort of... <laughs> it's salty for sure. It's a blend and then I think they actually like put it in the shape of a seaweed so... I've had, I've had seaweed before. There's definitely seaweed yeah. in here but it also tastes like they put like maybe like potato to have it. Flimsy. Maybe. I've, uh, I've had seaweed before but not like processed it because I did fresh seaweed so... That's honestly, a little different for me. Honestly it's not that bad. It's not bad. I don't know that I eat them all the time. But no. no. It's mm -hmm. not every day but... Mm -hmm. Not yeah, terrible. Interesting. Como me is what, uh, what it says. Como me. 85% yeah. seaweed. <laughs> so. There we go, 85% right. seaweed. <laughs> Alright, next we've got, I think another fish, judging by the picture, another fish kind of strands. Um, these were Tim's suggestions, so we'll see what he's got. Alright. Got a rip. This, this, is, this is a rip. Yeah. Alright, that was a nice rip. I think this also doubles as, um, <clears throat> if you need to send a package home, you can you can use this as some, uh, you know, little boxing uh, 
buffer. Oh, what do you, what do you call some it? shredded paper kind of. Yeah, shredded paper. This can. smells like the sea. This one's got a fishy smell to it. Yeah, this one definitely. Does. Yeah, it does have that. Uh, you know, you, you eat that uh, fish oil tablet. It doesn't yeah. actually go all the way down. <laughs> yeah. And then you're burping all day. This is what it smells like. Yeah. All right. Chewy. Very chewy. Very very chewy. <laughs> so I think that's like, <laughs> like you almost can't chew it. I think this might be like fish jerky. Like that's, yeah, that, that's a good way to say it. Yep. fresh jerky. I think it's legit fish. There's not much uh, other products. I think it's um, just dried fish. Very dried up. It almost looks like a tortilla, like a flour <laughs> tortilla. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, it's tough. That's uh, okay. again not bad. But just different. Honestly, not what I was expecting. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> what were you expecting? Like I said, like it's a, kind of a snap a little bit. Yeah, you know, I was like, expecting some crisp for sure. No, that's legit fish. Impressive. Nice. Well, I think those are the two seaweed or the two seafoods. So we'll, <laughs> yep. we'll move on from the seafood. <laughs> These ones look good. They look kind of like a, almost like a caramel corn kind of thing. I don't know. I might be way off. They look like the the stuff you get at the, the bar the bar mix. You know, the bar, yeah. that shiny one that looks. Yeah, I don't even know. You know what, you know what it looks is. like? What? You ever had pop cereal? No. <laughs> Pops cereal. So it's it's like a it basically looks exactly like this and it's yellow and it's. Just a cereal looks identical. Especially, really? uh, especially corn kernels. Okay. Yeah, these look pretty good. I have got a pair on these again too. Nice. Oh, oh, oh packages. Surprise baggie inside, inside the baggie. There we go. <laughs> so when I, when I see this, I instantly think that they're going to be a little bit heavy because they're such small packages. Yeah. And you can only have a little bit of, a few times. They sound pretty small. Yeah. All right. No rip. Yeah, these are really small. I was expecting bigger. These are uh, just little, little tiny guys. What flavor is that? I don't know what that is. It like it has taste at the beginning, and then it kind of just yeah, it's like a wafer. Goes, yeah, it definitely is like a corn puff, like yeah. Teddy was saying, that kind of uh, corn or like rice like dried a, out. Yeah, like in the middle, it's there's not much. Yeah. So it's kind of like just. You know what? I think it just might be like a light soy sauce. But I can't. I can't soy, like soy sauce might be that. But it, it's definitely like a you know bar snack. Yeah. Those aren't bad. I actually kind of like them. Yeah. That's interesting. So if you know what these are, feel free to comment. Let us know. Is that supposed to be soy sauce or <laughs> something else? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, they're not bad little kind of wafers. I'm in on them. For sure. Nice. All right. Moving along, we've got the all-natural taro chips. Is it taro? Is that how you say it? Yes. It seems to be pretty popular. They got donuts with taro in it, kind of that white paste. Um, I don't really know what it tastes like on its own. Though, so. Is, is taro that? A, a fruit or a vegetable? It's a root, right? I believe it's a vegetable. It looks like a root, but I don't really know. But you can make chips out of it. You know, <laughs> Well try. Give it a try. It's the potato of Asia. Thank you. Oh, those look nice. Those are like tortilla chips. Purple. Yeah. All right. These are great. Give it a smell. You already got one. Mm, I, already yeah. got one. I couldn't wait then. Doesn't smell like it, right? Mm. Like a potato chip. Doesn't really taste like anything no. either. Uh, it tastes like, to me, it tastes like sun chips. Sun chips? You ever had sun chips? The harvest, the harvest ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The little, yeah, little harvest sun chips, the flavor of it. So I guess taro is like a vegetable, and probably like a potato. I must have bad taste buds because I don't taste anything. <laughs> no, I'm just bad. I eat this is a, it's just a wafer to me. I'd eat them. Just a bunch of nothing. All right. The most American one here, we got Lay's. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'll taste at home. But I believe. Yeah, so fun fact, this is Korean right in here. It says Dok Bok Yi. That's what I thought it was, Dok Bok Yi, which is a Korean snack. Okay. Uh, they're like rice noodles with like a kind of a spicy paste soup around them. Um, and they make the chips. I really like it. It's, I like it a lot. But it's funny, I thought they looked like Korean Dok, dok Bok Yi. And they're there. Actually, I tried Dok Bok Yi chips in this episode last year. So we'll time, see. What, time to compare. Yeah, we see go. what Taiwan's got on Korean Dok Bok Yi. Pretty strong flavor coming in. It almost has like a barbecue flavor thing, like okay. barbecue chips. 
today. I will wait this time. I will restrain myself. <laughs> it looks like barbecue too. Yeah. All right. Bottoms up. There we go. Very barbecue like. Literally almost identical to barbecue. That's yeah. Great, that's a great flavor. Yeah. It's really delicious. So that's Korean dock barbecue. It looks like they have green onion and peppers. In yeah, there. I, th I think so. If, I know it's like that red paste is kind of the signature of it with those rice noodles. Um, but yeah, that looks like green onion. Mm -hmm. Some chilies in there. I mean, shout out to the chemist at Les because I mean <laughs> yeah. I can taste the green onion like a hint of it in there. I mean, that's an art. <laughs> you can make a that's chip. Really good. A chip that tastes like what's it called? Bakyaki. Dak bakyaki. Dak bakyaki. Dak bakyaki. Korea. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. That's pretty good. <laughs> That, I will say this tastes more like an American barbecue chip mm -hmm. than the Korean dak baki ones did last year. The ones last year had, there, it was a very specific flavor. It was close to barbecue, mm -hmm. but it had its own flavor. These to me taste more kind of like a traditional American mm -hmm. barbecue chip. You think they could get away with it because they're not Korean? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's still a great chip. There, there you go. go. Very good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. All right. My favorite. Now we got dessert. These were Tim's requests. Uh, I, I, I already tried these, but I, I thought they should try them. They're almost like uh, kind of dessert style, right? Yes. It's almost like a little moon pie. Like Mac macaroon this. Mac okay. Yeah. Macaroon. There there you go. The consistency is not as. Uh, you'll, you'll see it. Is this supposed good. to have a flavor? Or is it like pink? Is it strawberry? Or? Yeah, it's just kind of vanilla. Vanilla? I think we'll just yeah. find out in a second. Here we'll we find out. All right. It's got Co COVID, COVID style. You can't touch two of them. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Where one you pick, you gotta take. It's got three distinct uh, features of it that I I, uh, I I enjoyed when I first bit into it. But all right, all right cheers. Go. That's nice. <laughs> it's soft, right? I'm a big sucker for. Yeah, I'm immediately going towards almost like a Twinkie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's good. Exactly. That's Solid. Good. The, the, the softness, and then there's a creamy inside, but also there's sugar on the outside. That sugar is good. Yeah, it's like three things that I was just like, whoa, this is like a simple looking snack, but yeah. it hits you, and it's, it hits all those, really good. those hard places, makes you feel good. <laughs> yeah. All right, first is green tea. Spanish, sorry, Japanese style green tea, sugar free, no sweetener in this one. Okay. Um, tea is really popular here, it seems like, iced tea. Um, for my Canadian watchers, it's not like iced tea at home. It's more kind of like the traditional uh, unsweet tea in the States kind of thing. So it took me a little bit to get used to, but um, I think I like the black tea better than the green tea, but we'll try them both out. You guys, do you have the tea here? I have. Yeah. Uh, I do like the black tea better. There's, black tea? There's yeah. one that's called winter melon that I, I really enjoy, but obviously the green tea is the most popular. Yeah, uh, green I tea is definitely. That. So we'll try the green tea first. I feel like I'm a connoisseur on, on certain types of snacks, but um, you know, tea is not my forte yet. You know, no. maybe down the road I'll be able to decipher. You know, this I like hot tea. tea. I've, had, I've had a lot of hot tea. In my hot tea's good. Yeah. All right. Cheers. 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 Green tea. <laughs> that feels like I'm sucking on a leaf. Is what I feel like that tastes like a, a plant to me, like a yeah. tree. So one of the things here is like I asked for a cold water at a restaurant or somewhere else, and it's, yeah. it's very much they're taken back because they really enjoy tea. It's kind of they get a cold tea if they're really yeah. hot or thirsty. That's what they drink here. Yeah, you can't and get it, water. It's very refreshing. Yeah, that that is better than green teas that I've had while I've been here. That yeah. I haven't had that one before, and that's better than some of the ones I've had. Yeah, some um, more. Like really strong. A little too herbal <laughs> for me. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll try the black tea next. This is English style black tea. So Japanese green tea, English style black tea. Try this one. All right, here we go. Is there sugar in this one? Um, I'll have to look, it didn't say. Is it English style sugar? I would, I would assume probably, uh, Probably somewhat. There's no English whether it's uh, <laughs> so, yeah. sugar or not. So we'll, we'll go with maybe a little sugar. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. A little bit. I don't know if there's sugar in that, but that's good. It's got a natural sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like. I don't taste like sugar. No, yeah. it's actually really good. Mm -hmm. Yep, tastes like, like that. that. Tea at church that you thought was like Coke or something. Yeah. yeah. So like, no, what is this? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah good. That's, I, like that one. I still like that one, the black tea. That green tea was decent, but that black tea was better for me. Perfect. And we've got lemon soda. Yes, I believe it's carbonated. Okay, so it's, it's, not, sugar. it's not a tea, it's a, it's a soda. Lemon soda. All right. Try it Let's out. give it a try. I like lemonade, so we'll hope for it. <laughs> I have a feeling it's probably not going to be quite like lemonade, but... Definitely carbonated. There's the soda. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Bang, bang. Soda. Yeah, it's just kind of a very light lemon flavor to the soda water, basically. Boom. That's, uh, I, I don't mind that. No. that. That's nice and light. Like I don't like Coke and Pepsi where they're yeah. really heavy and sugary. That's just a nice carbonated drink. So if you can rank um, your top, top, what would it be? Well, you have to go with the soft dessert style. These these are number one for sure. But oops, oops. they're kind of in a league of their own. Uh, amongst the chips, I definitely got to go with the Doc Bucky. Oh, those yeah, are, those uh, are fire. Those are solid. Those, those are my number one. Those are really good. Yeah. I still got this being number one. Those fire, and then I actually really like those. Okay, the wafers. These yeah, the uh, wafers. We think soy sauce wafers. <laughs> I, I could probably munch on the, the taro. I think, yeah. I think those went down pretty easy, and they remind me of the sun chips, which I, I crushed. Yeah. So. Okay. What was your least favorite? Oh, man. I kind of, I would say probably the seaweed one for me. The first seaweed yeah. one? Yeah. It first, was like, it, it wasn't like amazing, um, but it wasn't bad either, but it just didn't A lot, lot of salt. Yeah. Like, those, didn't, didn't that would get warm quick for me. I could maybe do it. A strand or two, and then it's like, okay, that's <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, that's uh, all right. This, this fish jerky, I feel like if I had to eat it, it would take me a long time to finish a bag of those. So yeah. it was pretty chewy, and you had to work a lot for it. So. I think I agree. I gotta go with these. Uh, <laughs> not again, not bad, um, but just not really up my alley. But if I had to go with the number one, <laughs> it's this baby right here. Tim's got this on. Tim is now. trying this today. <laughs> I had one last year. Um, they're not for me. It is a, uh, it's an egg, and they sit in like a soy sauce brine um, all day, two days. I don't know how long they're in there, uh, but it's like the signature smell of Taiwan 7-Eleven. You walk in, it's the first thing you smell, last thing you smell when you leave. It's, uh, you won't go to a convenience store without smelling these, and there's all, they're always there. So I had one last year, not a fan. Um, <laughs> Teddy's gonna try one today. Uh, I'm just kidding. Tim's gonna try one today. Um, see what we got here. It's just one bag, one egg. I gotta go deep, right? I gotta get the one in the middle. Oh, yeah. well, that one is a winner. And that is just black. <laughs> oh, baby. It's got that umami kind of smell, so I mean, I guess that's the soy sauce I'm smelling, but there is shells everywhere. There in the middle, give it a shot. Try to get a little bit of everything. Um, the flavor is all the way through the egg, which is impressive. Um, I don't actually know what that is. I think it's probably like a little bit of soy sauce, Chinese spice, spice, some other stuff, but. It doesn't necessarily leave a good taste in my mouth, but um, yeah, I could see someone you know eating this on the go, maybe quick little rush. I'm not really a hard boiled egg type of guy, um, but you know, I could see them doing some other type of flavors, not just uh, you know, soy sauce flavor, but you know, it's doable. I enjoyed it. <laughs>